Hello everyone and welcome to this war of mine. So, uh, why am I recording this? Because today I I wanted to record some Seven Days to Die or something, but um, the, I saw this post about you know Alpha Eleven, how it's still in in the works, how it still needs to come out. So I wanted to wait for that update to start recording that again. So I thought. Why not play this War of Mine? Um, I really like this game. It's it's, it's um, r really cool, I guess you could say. I've played some of it. I don't know everything about the game, like I like I say about a lot of games. So let's go for another try. So we we have a bunch of stories here that we can uh, we can do. I've done. Um, Katia, Bruno, and Pavel. If I say some of these names wrong, I'm sorry. This is how I am um, used to saying these names. And I've done Pavel, Bruno, and Marco. So, I see we have Anton and Saveta. Is that a V? I have no idea. So, let's. Um, should we do one of these? I don't know. Let's go, yeah, let's just go with the first one. Yeah, whatever. <clears throat> let's try to survive more than 15 days, which is the record for this storyline. Day one. <laughs> Alright, so, there's many ways you can go. You can be the bad guys and, you know, just rummage through a, a um, an old person's home. I really don't want to do that this time because, you know, it breaks, breaks the characters and that's just bad. You know, the first time I played this game I did that and it felt so bad, man. For a game, I felt so bad. <laughs> I have no specific strategy, so I'm just gonna go with the flow. When the Civil War broke out, many people thought it would only last a couple weeks. It's been years since government military surrounded the rebels in the capital, cut off all supply lines. The civilian population trapped in the city are suffering from hunger, disease, and shelling. Freaking hate shelling so much. Katia met both Pavel and Bruno before the war. She used to be a ripe reporter. What? Reporter. Where Bruno had his own television cooking show. Pavel was the star of the local football team. Katia even interviewed him once. How they met. How they meet in dramatically different circumstances, stances, looking for food and shelter. So this right here is Katia. This is Bruno. And this is Pavel. Uh, he runs fast. He's a good cook. And I don't know what she does. Let's see. Uh, bargaining skills, right? So when a trader comes by, we'll have her do the talking. So first off, what I usually do is rummage through everything. Alright, let's not do that. Um, rummage through everything, try to get this place cleaned up before the night. And when night comes, we raid. So we have some herbs. We have some materials. So that's good. That's great. This place is pretty beat up. I, uh, I might say. I might add. <clears throat> Alright. You're slightly sick. You are good. And you're, you're good. Okay. Anything else? What'd you find? Some more herbs. Some more materials. Some sugar cubes. I can just grab all. What am I doing? It's been a while since I actually played this. So, yeah. What else can I do? Right there. Right there. And go through that. Because why not? Run! Some meats. Good. We need food. And some water, too. So that's that's perfect. Uh, more meat. Some more materials. This is the basics. We're going to have to find some weapons if we want to raid pretty well. Ooh, we have a treehouse. It's awesome. 
lot. I don't know if I've noticed noticed that before. Oh yeah, you gotta go through that. Good. Go craft something. Run, why don't you? <laughs> oh god, excuse me. <clears throat> so, how's it going? Um, we can actually make a bed. Simple heater, radio. The radio, it, it's not that useful. I mean, I like having it around because it's something to do. Crude stove, moonshine, workshop. Um, I'm gonna make a bed because, you know, I like beds. Let's put it right there. That's great. Go. So, all these guys are occupied, which is great. Some house, some housework, housekeeping. <laughs> Look at that background, man. So, so good. So, good. so um, as as these guys, you know, do their thing, they uh, they get their own, you know, report. I guess you would, you could say, you know, talking about how what what their thoughts are to my decisions, which is pretty cool. You know, if you if you raid a uh, old person's house, they might say, "Oh, it's you know, I hope those I hope I hope those old people can live through this or something like that." I think this door's locked. Of course, nope. They could actually bust through it. Okay. Um, as time goes on. There will be more people, you know, approaching our door, joining our team. Ooh, lockpick. That's gonna be useful. Jewelry. That can be good for trading. Awesome. See, we can lockpick doors that are locked. But I'll save it for later. Go! Outside! See, like that needs lockpick. Lockpicks are overall amazing. Uh, it's 2.50. We can end the day right now, but we still need to do a whole ton of stuff. Okay. So, um, I have learned from my mistakes. Um, the first time I played, I instantly made a heater because I thought it'd be useful. But I'm pretty sure heaters are just for when winter strikes. What do we have here? We have a heater right here, simple heater. So, we don't really need that. Should we make another bed? I'll make a radio. Because I like radios. Where should we put it? Kitchen? Sure. <laughs> oh god. I have a slight, slight, a very slight cold, but I am cold here. I have a heater right here. Don't mind that. I don't know if you can hear it or not. All right. So from watching other people play this game, you don't have to feed your guys every day. Um, you can like feed them one day, skip another day. <laughs> so that's a thing. If you're anyone like me, you just feed them every day. Because you care. <laughs> the rebel leader instructed us to warn the listeners not to cross the front line. Failure to comply could result in death. Oh, that right there is useful. But you can also, like, tune, tune to other channels. Which I haven't been able to find any. I just stay in, on one channel. Can I get it back? Please. There. Okay. I don't even know if there are any other channels. Anything else we can do? Not really. Everything requires a lockpick. Which we do have one. You know what? Uh, go. You sit. No. You go make more things. Anything else we can make? 
you can make a crude stove, which, you know, simple as they can get. Just burn some fuel made up of wood, books or com components, and use some water to cook a meal more nutritious than raw food. You could make that, or a metal works workshop. These are really useful. Don't so make one. Let's put it right there. So she's gonna lockpick that. You're building that. You're still going through the rubble. Awesome. Good job, man. Man. man, man. Ooh, some, some uh, of that <laughs> for wounded people. Okay, eight o'clock the night. So this is where we set up a raid. We can have people scavenge, guard, sleep, or sleep in bed. So, pa Pavel, Pavel, you know, he's a fast runner and he has 12 backpack space. Um, Bruno, he can sleep, and Katia will guard. I mean, it might be better to have both of them guard, but yeah, I don't know. This quiet, house, it, uh, this quiet house here is where the old people live. Um, they have lots of stuff, but let's not worry about that. Uh, ruined block f or flats or St. Mary's Church it's caution advised and hmm let's go to the ruined block of flats prepare do we need, any need anything um nothing really we need all the room we can get <clears throat> so when we start getting weapons we can you know put weapons to our backpack like guns and stuff. Alright, so empty and quiet here. It is. <laughs> so that, like, thing right there is the amount of noise we're making. So. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think there's a lot of people here, but let's not try to get ourselves killed. If there are people or animals here, they will make, you know, a little red, red symbol showing that they are making noise. Hmm. Out of room already. What is this? <clears throat> the baby carriage isn't empty. A few objects lie scattered inside. A rattle, a smiling red crab. Well worn by baby teeth, a fading bottle half full of congealed mass that was probably a baby formula, of course. Someone must have left in a terrible rush or maybe didn't need them anymore. Well, that's sad. Here we can look through doors to see what's inside. There's no one inside. We can just search. Oh no, he's slightly sick. Oh no. I'll take food. Uh else we can take I mean we can come back if we want Let's, uh, try to maximize our in in inventory as much as possible um, I think we're good yeah it's good for now let's run to exit Goodbye. Awesome. So that was a pretty successful night. Night one. Puffle was back. I don't really know when to end this. Um, I don't have a timer going, so let's just let's just hope this doesn't end too short or too long. You know, you know what I'm saying. Tonight I had really good haul. Look what I got. Oh, yeah. So we didn't get raided? Oh, excuse me. No bio updates. So, uh, everyone is hungry. So, that's a thing. I forgot... I forgot if we are... Uh, if we were supposed to... Or if I was supposed to feed them... On an even or odd day. I just start feeding them on even days, like today. <laughs> so, 
He can't really cook anything. Can he? Go make a stove. Okay. Crude stove. Make, put it in the kitchen. Some, or can we not put it in the kitchen? That sucks. The radio is occupied. It's, let's put it in here. It's a weird place to put it. But why not? Um, right there, I guess. Run! Run, Bruno! Run! Oh, wait, you're not Bruno. Okay. Let's go check the radio, see if anything has changed. You can sleep for a while. Because you are tired. Nope, nothing has changed. Um, go break over, open that door. It's bugging me. It's Bruno's building, you're sleeping. <laughs> um, no trader has come yet. So that's fine. Nothing in the bathroom. Nothing in there. We can't go in there. Here we go. So what we need to cook. 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 Fuel. We need fuel. So let's make some fuel. Um, let's make it with wood. Planks or whatever. Because it only cost one. Can you make like two more, please? That'd be helpful. Uh, two more, please. Anything else we can do before night comes? I think so. Go see if you can make more things. Bruno, make two. Yes. We can feed everyone now. <clears throat> we can get a, a rainwater collector. Ooh, hold on. Let's check the metal workstation here. See what we can make. You can also upgrade these to make better things. We can make lockpicks, crowbars, or sh uh, a shovel. A shovel could be used so you can dig out those rubbles quickly. Let's see, knife. We need uh, more of these weapon parts. Crowbar you can break open doors with, but it causes it's like really loud. I don't know. Hmm. Should I make some lockpicks? Sure, could be useful. What the heck are you doing, Bruno? Go cook, Jesus. Looks like you were selling the drugs or something. Okay. Food? Ready? Why is there only two? I guess we can cook another one. Uh, you got a nasty headache. You might need to sleep for tonight. You know, have Katia go out. Bruno. Yeah, we might need to cook another one. I thought we made three. Here we go. Make. Katia. Go eat. You sleep. You need it. Actually, you can't eat what hasn't been made, so. Oh, we need water. Dang it. Dang, dang, dang it. Uh, Katia, I guess you're gonna have to eat some raw food. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. So, 3 o'clock. Um, two beds. No, we don't really need that yet. So, after Katia eats, we'll end the day and then go you know scavenge through another place then i'll end it there not very filling
We still need food. Still hungry. Uh, she might need two servings. This might be a waste, but it's got to do. All right, you're not hungry anymore, so that's good. Everyone's good. Okay, he's recovering. Let's end the day. The night. So we have some new places opened up. You can sleep, you can guard, and you can scavenge. So we have showed school, which has that. We have supermarket, which there is danger. Um, or we can go back here. Some parts, lots of weapons, lots of weapons. That's that's great. Yeah, let's go back here. We might need this. We might. So I take both of them. Okay, let's do this. Let us do this. Okay. Katia, this is your first scavenge, so just don't panic. Looks like there's some medical supplies up there. No, just gonna take the stairs. Look at all this. Oh. Ah, oh, saw blade. Dang it. That sucks. <coughs> I guess we'll have to scavenge. Rather, ooh. Look at all this. So that's good. Cool, cool. Let's get back down here. Wait, wait, wait. That's not rubble. Rubble. You can search that. Woohoo! Um, what is this? We could trade that. Take some more parts with us. Um, we mostly need food. So let's try to find food. Yeah, I'm pretty sure most of the stuff is through those barred off doors or whatever. The things that we need saw blades. Ah, is that it? Dang it. I want to jump. Uh, there's a bathtub blocking it. No, that's fine. Alright, let's go. We'll go to a different place next time. Some places with food because um, we don't. You won't have to feed them. Today, anyways. So. Loading. Day three. Alright, so I'm gonna end it off there. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any suggestions or any tips for this game, please do say so in the comments below. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.